to play trader and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BNTC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame, I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I am anyways. A, a very monstrous day here uh, to think that the price opened up right around a buck fifty, and now it's up here almost at four dollars in one day. Uh, quite th quite the price movement. So let's map out some areas of support and resistance to keep an eye on as uh, we go into close out the week tomorrow on Friday. So the first level of support that really stands out is right here at the three dollar and twenty cent mark. Why is three dollars and twenty cents? Interesting, well, to quick go through the history of the chart for the day, price made the huge move, huge move, huge move, and then the pullback started, and the pullback started. And if you've been trading for a while, you know that sometimes uh, these pullbacks go, go, and go, and then all of a sudden they just keep going, they keep going and keep going, and then all of a sudden the price is right back to where it started. So when the pullbacks start, it's always one of those things where, all right, you know, what's gonna happen here? Well, the bulls gave us the answer, and the bulls finally stepped back up right here around $3.20. Uh, and said, all right, we're done with the pullback. And then you can see, obviously, the price bounced back up from there. So to me, $3.20, uh, important level of support. Now, if the price drops below it, am I saying that everything's totally ruined? I'm not saying that. But ideally speaking, yeah, you'd want to see the price stay up above $3.20. From the big picture perspective and a very uh, simplistic way to measure the health of the move, what do I mean by the move? Well, this thing right here, this is what I'm defining as the move. So how can we measure and kind of track the health of it? Keep an eye on that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average. As long as the price is above the uh, purple line, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full uh, control, You know, however you can best visualize that in your mind. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these battlegrounds at? For this, I wanna scrunch up a chart here a little bit, and there we go. So it should make pretty good sense why the price got rejected where it did today, at least I think so from the eyeball test. But that revolves around this $4.40 mark. Why do I say that it makes sense why the price you know, struggled right up around that area today? Well, you go back through the history of the chart and you can see during, during this big period here, that's exactly where the price got knocked down. So for whatever reason, uh, there are some sellers sitting up there at $4.40, not saying that's impossible to break through it, but as the story of the chart has told us, uh, you know, there are sellers up there, so apparently the bulls are really gonna have to bring their A game in order to fight through it. All in all though, uh, Exciting day, big day. Now it's just a question of can the Bulls build upon this momentum going forward? We shall see. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.